I've just realized something. I need to set the RS up for a road trip. So I've had to have a look at how the tablet mount is um, rigged up on normal headrests and then I've got to work out how I'm going to put it on the Recaro seats. So we've done road trips before, we've gone all the way from Melbourne to Queensland and that's taken uh, approximately three days to do that trip. Three, maybe four days if you want to stretch it out a little bit, depending on the route that you want to take. Um, for us, we're going to be breaking up this trip. So Melbourne to Sydney you can do in a day and we're actually going to Port Macquarie, which is just up past um, Sydney by about five hours. So what we've decided to do is break up the trip in a way that we've got between six to eight hours drive on the first day. Janolan Caves would be a very good place to go to. Okay, so what we've decided to do is travel eight and a half hours or thereabouts to Janolan and you actually get to drive, like the road actually travels through a cave and they've got a hotel there as well, so Janolan Caves Hotel. This looks interesting. There you go, this, this wriggly road, this looks very interesting. Okay. If we do a little look-see here for Port Macquarie. Oops, Port Macquarie. So this looks gorgeous. Um, there's obviously some um, resort picks there and that's not where we're staying and I don't know where that camel came from. Alright, so after a week at Port Macquarie, my husband asked me, where's that bridge that goes over the sea? And I'm like, I don't know. Let's ask Google, okay? So I typed in that bridge that goes over the ocean. Okay, over the ocean, um, we'll put in Australia because I'm sure there's lots of them around the world. And this came up, Sea Cliff, Sea Cliff Bridge. And he's like, that's it, it's in Wollongong. And I'm like, wow, that looks awesome. We need to take the RS on that bridge. That's really nice. Here's another picky. Gorgeous. So we thought, all right, well, Wollongong. Let's have a look. Um, what's in Wollongong? Because to be honest, I don't know anything about Wollongong. I've never been there. You just, you just don't know what these, um, you know, your own country towns have to offer until you actually do a bit of research. And it just so happens that this place looks gorgeous. So we're going to Wollongong. Knowing all of that, there's still the issue of entertainment for our son in the back seat. So got to go and suss that out now. So I've got this basically they get loosened up and you put normal headrest poles in there just in that bit there but I don't have any poles. I've got this big bit of plastic around here and I've got to try and rig this up on here somehow. So what I'm thinking is I'll make the width of that the same as this as best as possible. There's a bit of a rise here on the seat so it doesn't sit flush 
Um, but what I'm thinking is once I've got the width sorted out and that's tightened up like this one, I'm going to try and put some elastic bands around there so they can go around the Recaro seat. And I've got to go on the other side and put some rubber bands on there. Now I've got some rubber bands. Hello. So what I'll do, <laughs> hi, welcome to my channel, um, what I'm going to do is put it around this one first so we don't have to struggle with that one. One more. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, I think I've done it. And I'm going to bring spare rubber bands in case they do break. There's only two rubber bands. There were three. Uh, that could be a bit of a problem. I don't want to be sitting here when the rubber band goes ping. Um, okay. So other than where the rubber band's gone, um, I'm going to have to put another one on there. I might put some thicker ones on there as well. And what I might have to do is cover it up with some fabric so that it doesn't ping us in the back of the neck. It'll be like a ticking time bomb. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what I've got is some fabric and thicker elastic. So that should work. Fold up this bandana. The blue of this bandana matches the RS logo on the Recaro seats. It's kind of a Ford blue. Ford Focus RS Blue. Ooh, it's a new fashion accessory. Oh, this could be my first mod. Done it. I'm really pleased with that. That is very good. There we go, we have a tablet mount, safe from snapping rubber bands on the back of our neck, that is cool.